Welcome back. We're going to cover duration, how to change the, the display time of the content in your videos. And right now in Final Cut Pro, I've already dropped two photos or slides into the project timeline. So I set the default at three seconds, which you can adjust. If you go up to, let's see, Final Cut Pro, click Preferences, and you see these items here. This is general, go to editing. And now here's three seconds. This is, you can change it to four, whatever you want to change it to. And then when you drop in photos, it'll automatically be this default. So I think three or four seconds is good. That's what I use. All right, so let's say you want to change the duration on this. We've selected an image. It's highlighted with the yellow frame. We're going to right click on it, change duration. And then type in, let's say 15 seconds, 1500 is 15 seconds, hit return. And now this is 15 seconds. You can see the duration right here. Another way to change the duration is just to put your cursor right on the edge and you can see that it changes to a bracket and two arrows and just simply drag your photo back and forth like that. Okay, so those are the two ways that you can change the duration of a photo or slide. If this was a video clip, you can only extend it so far. If the video clip you put in here is, is 10 seconds, you're not going to be able to make it longer because there's just no content past the 10 seconds. So you can make it shorter by editing the clip. So this changing the duration works with photos and slides. One other thing, if you want to zoom in on a Mac, you're going to type Command Plus and it gets bigger, you see. If we want to zoom out, it's command minus, command minus, get smaller. If you're on a Windows machine, it's control plus or control minus. Those are the ways to zoom in and zoom out on the keyboard. I hope this was helpful. I hope it helped improve your Final Cut Pro skills. And the next video is going to be on cropping, how to put movement into your photos. I hope you like this. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you at the next video.